I want to say no. <laughs> no relationship is 50-50. And let me explain why. I know this is uh, something that was we used to use back in the day that, you know, we got to, you know, be 50-50. It has to be 50-50 the yin and the yang. I, I understand that. I get it. I understand where people were coming from. But when it comes to 50-50, I would say, in what area though? Like, is it, are we the same financially? Are we the same emotionally? Are we the same mentally? Are we the same, are we the same uh, education-wise, right? So I don't think no relationship is 50-50. I think it's more of, depending on which area of life you're in. Some of you might be more emotionally mature than your spouse or your significant other. One of you might be more advanced financially or better with finances than your spouse or your significant other. One of you might be mentally stronger than your spouse or your significant other, right? You might be 80% in, in, in emotions uh, they might be 50% in their emotions, right? So there's different tiers I look at it in life that no relationship is 50-50. I just don't believe it because as humans, we're so complex. There's so much to us and there are so many different layers of us that we have to peel back to really get to know, uh, to know the real authentic us, right? And I believe it takes a special someone uh, to to know us in those areas and to even be exposed to our weaknesses right like there's just some areas that my wife is better than me uh there's why there's areas that i'm better than her right but that's what makes the relationship awesome because it's like yeah I, you know i'm a movement by myself but i'm a force when we together right <laughs> shout out to neo right and, and fabulous but i'm saying all that to say is that it's okay to expose those weaknesses or those weaknesses to be exposed to your spouse or your significant other. So that way you both can help each other. That's not saying that if you're weaker than them in one area, that's not saying that you give up and you're like, oh, well, they got this. No, that's that's not fair to them. Emotionally, that's not fair to them. Mentally, that's not fair to them, right? I think that if you are better than your spouse or your significant other in a certain area, then look at that as a goal of yours to attain. Like, I want to be better like her or I want to be better like him. And they can set that example for you on what that looks like. And in the end, the, the what benefits is the marriage. What benefits is the relationship because we are constantly helping each other grow over time instead of being jealous of our gifts or, or our talents or, uh, our, our financial ability to work numbers or our uh, mental toughness to get through tough seasons in life. Like, don't be jealous of those things. Celebrate those things. Be happy that you actually have someone that's stronger than you in certain areas because some people, they feel jealous because they not at that level or their spouse or, or significant other gets, you know, certain accolades or maybe they, uh, you know, maybe they're a social media star or something, or maybe they do something on a grand scale and their spouse or significant other isn't on that level yet. Sometimes that can cause jealousy in a relationship. But when you really know who you are, you're just really setting that example for them. And then at the end of the day, all you're doing is saying, I'm on this level. Let me go down a notch or two and grab you and bring you up. So that way we can continually evolve because like they say, a, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, right? That's that's just some old school verbiage that, that I grew up hearing. And what that meant was based on the weakest link is how strong the chain is going to hold. So if I'm the weakest link in my marriage or in my relationship, then I'm looking to my spouse or my significant other to, to help me out you know, because we should have each other's back at all times. It's not so much of about, oh, you slacking, you need to get it together. It's no, what can I do to help make this thing better for us? Because we want the relationship to win. Remember, as I said before, in a previous video, 
it's not about you winning or 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 her winning it's about the relationship winning that's the biggest part you want the relationship to win when you look at it like that when you look at your relationship as a whole then you're more concerned about looking out for that other person because it's you realize your relationship is just bigger than you it's not always about you winning an argument or about uh, i told you so or those kind of things it, it's not about that so when you start thinking on a on a bigger scale that's when the relationships the relationship becomes more healthy it becomes stronger you endure longer and and even the love goes deeper right so those are the things that i believe that help makes the relationship better so it, you know all relationships if you're looking for your relationship to be 50 50 you need somebody that's better than you in some areas you know or and again you could be better than some areas with than them but you find that out over time i think a lot of times we give up on relationships too fast to see someone's true strength in certain areas and how they are better than you in certain areas whether it's mentally financially uh spiritually right those different things spirituality is a big part too that doesn't mean that uh, you got to go start a church or anything, but what does that look like spiritually? Do you pray together? Do you hold hands? How often do you pray together? Do you read your Bible together? Just different stuff like that. Are we, you know, are are you leading in prayer? Are you leading uh, a personal devotion time with us, or we reminding each other how important God is in our marriage? You know, so that helps makes the relationship stronger. So just know at the end of the day no relationship is 50 50. if you're looking for someone that's just on your level then i don't know how much better the relationship can be you want somebody that's on another level and you want to step your game up so that way y'all both continue to help each other grow and evolve and it comes with a certain amount of humility in that and just know that at the end of the day the relationship wins i hope this video really uh inspired you to want to step your game up maybe your relationship is stagnant maybe your marriage is, is stagnant maybe as a man because i hold men accountable maybe you just aren't strong in a lot of areas and maybe she's taking a lead on way too many too many more things than what you what she should be taking on and she's maybe exhausted and tired so maybe this video is for you to encourage you just to step your game up and when you do that she will appreciate that. She will start to feel a little bit better, a little more relieved knowing that you stepped up in certain areas. And only you and your relationship knows that.